A struct in C++ is equivalent to a class, except that members of a struct default to public access, instead of private access as in classes. By convention, structs are used instead of classes to represent simple data structures that mainly contain public fields. To declare objects of a struct, the normal declaration syntax can be used. Another alternative syntax common with structs is to declare the objects when the struct is defined, by placing the object names before the final semicolon. This position is known as the declarator list, and can contain a comma-separated sequence of declarators. There is a syntactical shortcut available when initializing an object, called aggregate initialization. This allows programmers to set fields by using a bracing closed comma separated list of initializer clauses. Aggregate initialization can only be used when the class type does not include any constructors, virtual functions, or base classes. The fields must also be public, unless they are declared as static. This is the reason why it is more common to use aggregate initialization with structs rather than with classes. Although similar to struct, the union type is different in that all fields share the same memory position. Therefore, the size of a union is the size of the largest field it contains. In the case here this is the integer field which is 4 bytes large. This means that the union type can only be used to store one value at a time, because changing one field will overwrite the value of the others. The benefit of a union in addition to efficient memory usage, is that it provides multiple ways of viewing the same memory location. For example, the union here has three data members that allow access to the same group of four bytes in multiple ways. The integer field will access all four bytes at once. With the struct, two bytes can be viewed at a time, and by using the char array, each byte can be referenced individually. A union type can be declared without a name. This is called an anonymous union, and defines an unnamed object, whose members can be accessed directly from the scope where it is declared. An anonymous union cannot contain methods or non-public members. If the anonymous union is declared globally, it must be defined as static.